is, um, you know, first and foremost, when we're playing Saginaw Valley, it's it's a rivalry. Our kids really take that to heart. So does our school and our community. So um, it's a big game for us coming into this. So we talk about that quite frequently. And uh, I thought our kids rose to the occasion. And we came out with some fire today. It was good to see. It's so much more cool, though, to get that NSC rival when you really fight for something. It's not just a rivalry game. And you're fighting for a lot more, too. Yeah, we, and we are. And we know what's at stake every game. Um, is becoming increasingly more important in the grand scheme of things when you look at the playoff pitcher. So for us to have a home game against them, uh, you know, it's as every game, it's a must win. And we need we needed to come out and play well today. I thought um, we did a good job going at them, getting them into foul trouble, which certainly helped us at the defensive end of the floor, not having Emily Wendling on the floor as much as they would have liked to have her on today. Uh, I thought our post players did a great job inside. And, you know, going into this game, the last two to three games, we've actually been really not great inside defensively. Our interior defense, I've been challenging them, and they've really stepped up to the occasion tonight. It was good to see. The dad was actually having a concern coming in with their post players, so but I thought that was the key to the whole game. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and they both had 20 on Thursday coming into this game and you know feeling good about their games and playing well. Um, they're, they're both very good players, and Emily Wendling is – Honestly, in my opinion, the best post player in this league, and she's she's talented. She can score in a variety of ways, and that's a huge challenge for anybody. Uh, but our, I thought our team defense overall uh, really took her out of what she wanted to do. I, I thought not just the, the individual defense on her, but what we were able to do with the other four players around her uh, got her a little frustrated today, and uh, that was big for us, really big. Sarah, this is like your fifth game since last Thursday, what, nine days yeah. or so? Yeah. I would say we're kind of on fumes, but I think it helped all of us coming together as a team, and we knew we wanted this win. I mean, like we said, it's a rival win, so it, I mean, that's a lot of energy in itself right there, and we just got to keep pushing through. We know we want to get to tournament, so that's what's motivating us. And you, you have to have some motivation, some energy to have to play defense like that, don't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. For, for 40 minutes. Oh, so definitely. You talk about the team defense and what you want to do, what you want to accomplish. Well, we obviously wanted to shut down the post play, but we also just wanted to have a good team defense overall. We wanted to contain the dribble. Um, and we did all those things, and I think we had some energy. Our communication was a lot better. So. You had some big shots, I thought, key points uh, in the game, like when they were making mm -hmm. that surge here and there, you hit a shot. And it seems like you're really more, getting more and more and more and more confident offensively. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. And I've been getting a lot of shots up, and I've just been telling myself to relax. You know, i got to be more patient, so a lot more focus. And just talk about beating your rival. I mean, like the coach always says, um, it really doesn't. Oh, definitely. Yep. And I honestly thought you both were going to bank, so yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a new rivalry. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And we, I mean, like you said, we rose to the occasion and it felt good. So. Um, Jeff, 19 turnovers, almost 30%. Even you know, if your offense is a little ragged, I mean, that's great. When you get, get something like that, yeah, I was, you're going to win a lot of games. I was very pleased with our defense. I, you know, to hold any team in our league in the 40s. Uh, we're doing something well. I, I thought we had them frustrated. I thought we took them out of a lot of what they wanted to accomplish today offensively. So obviously our players did a good job following the scouting report and doing what we were asking them to do. But uh, we knew we could force them into a few turnovers. They've been turning it over all year long um, and just with their guard play. Uh, so we wanted to trap and do a couple different things defensively today. And I thought that really was a huge key to the game for us as well because we started in it. We started trapping them from the first possession. And I think we had them on their heels a little bit. We allowed us to build a little bit of a lead. And then we hung on to that lead for the, the entire game. So you're finally done with what you called the gauntlet before you started the gauntlet. Yeah. Gone, yeah. It's finally over. And you come all the way with the win at the end and, and defend like they did. That shows you something about, I think, the box a little bit. Like yeah. And you know, the, the, just the overall toughness. And we talk about it a lot as a team. And, and we've even said, you know, sometimes we, we throw that word around a little bit. You know, we got to be tougher. We got to be tougher. And uh, whether it's physically or mentally, um, I think when it comes down to it, five games in nine days is grueling. And it doesn't matter how you try to prepare your team, whether you're taking days off or resting emotionally and physically, five games in nine days is about as tough as it gets. It's like an NBA schedule. So. Um, I, I really felt like our team showed some good poise and some toughness with that today. And, and again, to be able to hold the team down to 44 points um, and defend the way that we did on the fifth game of a nine or fifth game in nine days, I think it's a real testament to our team toughness. I really do. And so now you, the payoff is you get four of your last five at home, I think. Right. Or is it 
Yep. Yeah, it is. Uh, schedule is now hopefully in our favor with home games. Um, I mean, there's something to be said about playing on the road too, though. I think you know you're spending a lot of time with your teammates and getting a chance to bond, and uh, sometimes those away games uh, actually bring you closer together. But I, I think our team's up for the challenge, and we know what's ahead of us here. And every game is just crucial when it comes down to it. And we have uh, our next opponent who's chasing us now, and and from what I heard, might be actually getting a win today too. So that makes that game even more difficult. And they're going to be motivated and ready to play, and we're we're going to have to be ready to go on Thursday. Yep.